morning everyone welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlogs if you guys are new here my name is jenna and i'm doing a fall suburbs vlog today i was going to do this last weekend but it just didn't work out i was running around and doing a bunch of stuff and visiting family and all that so i just didn't get to it and i'm home today i'm working from home and I'm about to go and pick up my coffee order that I want to share with you guys because it's a really good, nice and cozy order for the fall time. Um, and I don't think I've shared it on my channel yet. So I ordered it to the Starbucks near my house. I normally don't order Starbucks in person because my order is so ridiculous <laughs> that I don't want to even like say it out loud, but you know, you guys might have to if you go to like a drive through or something. It's not that crazy, but for me, I'm just like, I'd rather just have it printed out and they know what to make and that's it. Don't really have a plan for today. I'm just gonna kind of take you guys along to everything that I end up getting up to. I might be heading off to the mall because I have no concealer left. So you guys can't tell right now because the lighting is actually pretty nice right now, but my dark circles are out of control and I was using like the very bottom of the barrel of my, um what was it my concealer and it was like clumping together under my eyes and I was noticing it like in the middle of the day at work not something to get embarrassed about but I was still like that's a little bit annoying and I just have to go get a new one and haven't gotten around to it yet so I am gonna run to the mall and yeah we're just gonna have a chill little autumn day make sure you guys are subscribed I have a ton of hauls and stuff coming on my channel I just uploaded a revolve haul and hopefully the Zara and H&M will, will be up by the time you guys see this vlog um, But yeah fall season is my favorite to dress for and it's definitely showing so make sure you guys are subscribed So you don't miss any of those and Any of the vlogs if you guys are enjoying them So I am going to just stop talking now because the coffee is supposed to be ready in two minutes and I'm gonna be late There is something in my hair and I did not even realize. I have no idea what this is. I swear it's not dandruff. It's like, I don't even know. I can't even, like it can't be toothpaste. That wouldn't have come out that easily. Anyway, I just went into the Starbucks store like that and my eyebrows have been messed up this whole time. Sorry for such a close angle, but Chloe doesn't have, so I'm in my sister's car right now. Um, she took mine because this had to be serviced and she doesn't have a little clippy thing for her phone, so I have you guys propped up on the steering wheel. But I got my latte. The girls were staring at me. I didn't like realize that they were standing right there, the um, employees. And I was like filming, picking mine up, and I was like, they're staring directly at me when I looked up, and I was like, thank you, bye, and I just left. Um, but I got a, you guys aren't even gonna be able to see this. We have a blonde espresso, two pumps of caramel syrup, one pump of toffee nut, and if I had to guess, I would think that the toffee nut is what makes this all nice and cozy because I've had other caramel drinks before. I always get caramel syrups when I go to like other coffee shops that are not Starbucks. So I think it's definitely the toffee. I'm just gonna try to get this in focus. You guys can take a screenshot if you want to try it out. Where is the shade? Nope. Oh, there we go. Nope, okay. So this is the order. It's showing backwards right now as I'm filming, so hopefully it's not backwards. Um, I think it's gonna be backwards, but yeah, I said it, so you guys can go and try it out if you want to. Um, I also got this last week and I ordered it from the app, but they gave me an iced one, which I've also gotten before. It's basically the same order and then I'll do either iced or hot, but I've been doing hot drinks ever since, I think my first day of work, which was October 10th, which was a little bit late, I think but it was still so hot out in New York that I was like, I really don't want to have a hot drink when it's 75 degrees still. Oh, it's just so good. So good and cozy and they made it the perfect temperature, which has nothing to do with my order. But anyway, so I am going to head back home now. I was on the phone with MIS, which is like our IT team all morning, just because I've been here for, this is my second week, but still there's like some applications and things that aren't set up in the way that I need them to be or not set up at all. So I've just been like trying to get all that figured out. 
and I have some emails that I have to get to. So just gonna go home, possibly sit outside because it's actually not too cold out. I didn't even check the temperature. It's 50 degrees, that's actually a little bit cold. But I have this big cozy outfit on. I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but my Ugh is like completely messed up and I'm gonna take it off right now just so I could show you So I just pulled these out of my closet for the first time this season and this one is like Completely deformed and has like a, like this part is indented So you can see that it poofs up there. I have no idea what happened to it. There's salt on it So I'm assuming this was from me actually I think I was walking in the city with these and there was a puddle that I didn't see and it fully submerged in the puddle. And this is probably like the salt and water just like localizing to that one point and ruining my UGG. Um, but I think these are probably at the point of no return, if I had to guess. I'm also not wearing socks with these right now, which I never do. <sighs> probably the only shoes I don't wear socks with are loafers. Um, but anyway, yeah, my UGGs are in some sort of a state. I think these are the only other pair that I would get. I don't think I'm going to get like the super mini or the like, I don't even know what the other ones are called. Like the, or I think they're mini and super mini just cause I feel like they're not really my style and I don't really wear them as like a shoe. I wear them as a comfy shoe. Um, okay. This grandma is about to be staring at me. So let's head back home. I've been sitting here working for a little while. We have a baby Enzo joining us. <laughs> and Vanessa just got her shark tool in. So she's gonna tell everyone what that means. <laughs> so, shark, which is, I guess, a vacuum brand like Dyson came out with their air wrap and they have two options. So the one option you can buy the whole set and you get all the attachments but who uses all of those let's be real and so the other option and that's 270 dollars then the other option is you get you can pick three attachments and that's 250 dollars and if you scour the internet like i did you can find the coupon code so it was even cheaper i actually just saw a youtube video comparing the two yes i didn't watch it but it's on top and the feature of this one that the Dyson does not have is this thing. So you can push a button and you can make it go from vertical to a right angle so you can use it as like a free hair dryer. I picked the um, barrels like this, which is similar to the Dyson. Wait, so you got four. It always comes with this one, I think. That's five. Maybe you do get four? It's either three or four. Okay. And so I chose the, that one nail missing polish is giving me a little bit of agita. I know they're all coming off today. Um, okay. First, so these are your barrels. This really, I just look really people, similar. They said, but what's nice, they put left and right on there. Mm. Um, if you can't figure it out, which that's a problem. And, um, <laughs> so, but if you can't, they put it on so there. So the thing is the new Dyson comes with one of these for each width. And you just switch, switch the this. button, I thought, yeah. And so, you know, if you're really doing your hair, who cares if you have to switch it out? That's my perspective. Okay. And so this is your little condenser, right? Okay. And then I guess I ordered the paddle brush as well. So this is just more for like straightening and smoothing. Okay. Um, and that one is more for like rounded ends and such. That's great. And then we have our base, Mr. Sharp. Mr. Shark, that's going to be stuck in my head for three days now. <laughs> and so, again, don't love the packaging, but it comes right out of the packaging, so who cares? Um, this is her, and I have to say, I like that there's just one color, because sometimes Dyson comes out with a color, and then you spend $600 on that item, and then they come out with another one, and you're like, oh, that one's cooler. Mm-hmm. That's great. Thank you so much for joining us. Sure. <laughs> Enzo, what do you think? Can we use the hair dryer on you? Enzo, look over here. Do you want <laughs> Do you want to use the shark? Okay. We'll use the shark on you. It's because it doesn't hold if it's not hot. Okay, so apparently my hair is greasy, so I'll apologize for that. 
I was just sitting on the couch and my mom's like, is our hair greasy? And I'm like, probably, but I literally just washed it yesterday. So that is such a shame. Actually, no, I washed it two days ago. So yeah, if it looks greasy, didn't put dry shampoo in it and that's why. Yeah, we definitely need to figure this out. But I wanted to do a little Halloween gift unboxing. I know it's a funny concept because we're 26, going on 27 in a few months. And we got Halloween presents, which I think is so fun and so nice. So this was my card. My mom got me the one with the shoes on it because she thought that that was fashionable, which was really, really cute. And I'm going to use Vanessa's as an example because I already opened mine and ate half of whatever's in here. <laughs> so first we have Trader Joe's peanut butter cups, which if you guys have seen any of my Trader Joe's hauls, you would know that I'm obsessed with these. And I actually haven't bought them in a while, which is crazy. I think because last time I went, I just wanted to get the bare minimum and like the stuff that I actually needed because I didn't want to blow like $250 on one um, grocery store run, which I think is kind of impossible in Trader Joe's anyway, because everything is so, it's just priced really well. So these are really nice, really fun. Then we have a Starbucks gift card. So this Starbucks run was brought to you by my parents because they, <laughs> they gave us Starbucks gift cards. And we also have a pack of free mints. This is actually from the tile place that we spent like four hours in trying to pick out bathroom tile. So I guess that's our reward from that. And then we have a Trader Joe's gift card, which is really helpful obviously, because I go there all the time. That's the only place I'll go food shopping at. And it has the peanut butter cup photo on here. Vanessa did in fact ask if you're only to... <laughs> <laughs> My mom just whispered, that's not nice. She, <laughs> I'm tired, okay? She had an interview, so she's tired. Um, but she asked if you could... I asked if I could only buy the peanut butter cups with the gift card because the gift card only has a picture of the peanut butter cups on it. Oh, I think you're videotaping. <laughs> oh. So you're welcome for the laugh, at least. <laughs> So you guys heard her and that's like, yeah, she's just funny and very literal sometimes. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's everything that we got from um, the our, from the Great Pumpkin. That's what my mom calls herself, I guess. Um, so thank you, mom and dad, for that. And so, yeah, you guys got a little unboxing situation, even though none of it was technically mine. Um, anyway, so I am going to be working for the next couple hours and then... We are going to go to Marshall's and then possibly the mall afterwards so that I can finally go to Sephora because <laughs> I asked Vanessa if she had to go and she was like, you asked me this last time I saw you. And I was like, okay, well, I still don't have concealer and you guys can see that I'm pretty desperate for it. So hopefully I could just go in there and only stop in Sephora because I don't know, I love going to the mall, but if I only have to get one thing, it's like overwhelming to just shop around. And I also can't be spending money right now because I just bought new bedding, which I can show you guys a little bit later. All right, we are in the car on the way to Marshall's. Another musicless car ride with Vanessa. <laughs> I should make this an episode series. I don't think anybody would watch that. Right, because there's no music. <laughs> um, it works for me though, because obviously I can't have music on when I'm recording, so fine by me. But we're just gonna go pick up a few things and then head to the mall quickly to go to Sephora. I don't imagine that I'll stop into anywhere else because as I said, or I don't know if I mentioned it, but can't really be spending money right now. So I'm just gonna get the necessities and just get right out of there. Um, but you just never know. Sometimes I always say that and then I end up buying a lot of stuff that I don't need at all. And then I don't end up returning it because I really, really want it. So, <laughs> um, but that's the plan for right now. Done with work for today. I might go back home afterwards and just do a couple more things if I am feeling up for it, but yeah, we're just doing some little errands slash shopping pretty late in the day. It's like five o'clock and it's already looking dark out. Okay, there's like little ice cubes in this because it's so cold. Um, do you have any updates that you'd like to give? Um, I used the shark on one piece of hair and- How'd it, it go? It was good, and um, it does get a little bit hotter than the Dyson. And I immediately, you know, took the curl and put it back in 
this clip though, so can't report on how long it holds, but but there's I a little like um, little so teaser far. for you, yeah. just in case anyone wants to pick it up instead of getting the Dyson. Thank you so much for that um, segment. Yeah. Let me see the front. Mm. These are the ones that crackle when you burn them. Is that bad? No, it's a nice sound. Okay, we're gonna be in here for like an extra 20 minutes now. Okay, you guys, we are makeup free and it's been about almost 24 hours since I last spoke to you guys. I think we were in the car. Um, but I'm finally going to do my Sephora run, which I'm really excited for because I have a feeling that I'm going to pick up a couple more things than what I originally thought I needed, which isn't a good thing because um, there's no need. But I feel like I want to get like a different blush and we'll just see what other things I have there. I love that store and I never go in there because it takes me forever to finish makeup products. So I really go to Sephora like twice a year. Like there's just no way that I would ever become like a Rouge member or whatever it's called when you have like all these points and get to shop the sales early. Like that just will never happen for me because I just don't shop there enough. But that means that when I do go, I'm like overly excited about it. So yeah, you guys can tell I'm just happy to get out there. I wanna go to the mall. I haven't been in like probably I would say like four to six months. I know that sounds crazy, but I really cannot remember the last time I went to the mall and actually like bought something. I feel like I've been there a couple of times where I was like walking around and stuff, but I haven't bought anything from the mall in so long. And I also need Christmas presents. I have like no idea of what I want to get for Christmas. And it's just hard because you buy the stuff and then you have to wait to actually use it. So we'll look around today and see if there's anything that I want to pick up for that. But it should be a pretty quick visit and I'll just do a little unboxing when I get back if I end up picking anything up. We are stuck in so much traffic. It's taking us like 45 minutes to get to the mall when it should take like 12. But we were just listening to the new Taylor Swift album and <laughs> I really wanted to like it because I feel like I haven't liked one of her albums in like the past my last like favorite album and probably like my favorite out of it. all of them is reputation because it's not like i just don't love the fluffy like high pitch like soft version of taylor swift i like the older taylor swift of like the fearless album the red album like that stuff was like strong Sparks fly, is and that, album? that might maybe or, yeah, I think but it was just like more fun like I don't I feel like now it's just like everything's very like like Vanessa was saying it was cryptic which I agree um in the song karma there's like 17 analogies for karma in her life and I'm like I think we could have stuck with like three just because it's like so much it's just a lot and I just feel like overwhelmed listening to it and I like wanted to like it so badly and I just feel like <laughs> it wasn't fun yeah it was just like we're just waiting for like that upbeat song because it's like also it's nice for music to be relatable when you're in like a, a thump or what is that called a slump a what when you're in a like a when you're in a rut we'll call it it's nice I don't know, but it's nice for music to be relatable when you're in a rut, but like sometimes to pull you out of the rut, you want like I don't know happy. The right word. I think it's a rut. A rut is like a problem, I think. I don't know. When you're feeling down, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it, but like sometimes you want happy music to like pull you out of it, and I feel like this is just going to keep you there. That's yeah. like the best way to describe it. I don't know. It's definitely not my favorite. I liked the first song and that was about it. We didn't get through the rest of it, but it's like just Lavender Haze. That's... Barely. We gave it a six. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else is... I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments though, because I don't know if it's just me. I am like a, a mediocre fan of Taylor Swift. I'm not going to like follow her till 
the ends of the earth and like say that every single song that she's ever had is like fantastic because that's just not who I am but like she's good I just feel like she there hasn't care. been <laughs> high school Taylor Swift is my Taylor Swift yeah I mean we also can't sit here and say like that we're gonna criticize her because she's a very successful artist but at the same time like everyone's entitled to their opinion I'm just not picking up what she's putting down right now. I'm not really understanding anything. <laughs> and it's like, I didn't need to be like on my most like sharp part of, I don't know. Like my brain has to be like tuned, I guess, in order to listen to this album. But like, I also don't really want to figure out what she's saying. I just want to like listen to music and have a good time. And I feel like this is not it. Not it. <laughs> it's not a good time. <laughs> I'm not having a good time. Like, we're in traffic right now, and she should be pulling us out of this mood that we're in. And it's like, I'm sinking deeper. She gave me $10 for the tip that I had to pay, so it's actually only costing me five. Okay. I think we're going a little too far with the logic here. No, I think that's okay. Um, okay, so we're back in the car. We have more traffic, so... Instead of waiting to get home, because it'll probably be dark by then, I figured we would do a little haul of what we got in the mall. And oh, I'll show you guys the stuff that I got, and I'll show you guys. Okay. That's... We got Ricky Bobby driving the car. <laughs> I'm not supposed to make that turn, so you gotta do um, So I'm gonna show you guys what I got, and then I'll also show you what Vanessa got. So first, I went into Morphe because. They have really amazing brushes and they're probably a half the price that Sephora is. And I needed to get a, like a brush to blend my whole face and then I ended up buying an entire set because they were doing 50% off. So, did I mention that already? No. Um, so, I ended up going with a set, it's called Getting Things Started. It has um, a powder brush, a flat brush, a contour brush, mini buffer, pointed blender brush, oval fluff, fluff brush. How is someone supposed to say that? Um, detail liner brush, angled brow and spoolie, and then a faux leather zip bag, which is this. So comes in a little pouch. This full price I think is $38 and I got it for half that. So really, really cost effective. And then I also got this brush to supplement it, which is one of the ones I went in there for. So I really just needed a smaller brush to do the powder underneath my eyes and then this to blend like my blush into my concealer because I normally have like a harsh line there. So yeah, I've got this and that's actually gonna be a Christmas present because I haven't gotten anything to give myself from other people for Christmas yet. And then I went into Sephora and needed to get matched for a concealer and the girl recommended the Huda Beauty. I actually haven't heard anything about this one. I feel like everyone that I follow just uses Charlotte Tilbury <laughs> products and like a full face of Charlotte Tilbury. So I kind of wanted to just get something that was going to be like exactly what I needed, even if it wasn't Charlotte Tilbury, because that's exactly where I went first. Um, I got the shade 3.3. I may have wiped a little bit of it off in the corner, but like you can probably not tell that much because I'm in the car, but you can definitely see a difference between like this crease and this right there so really good color and good coverage and then I also got the rose ink blush so they don't actually fully sell this line in Sephora but they have a little like kiosk where they have like new up-and-coming brands and I ended up getting this blush because where is this Lauren Grace was doing a little like Q&A and she did her updated makeup and she put this blush on and it's such a nice cool tone pink Wow, that looks really nice. So it's actually a cream blush. Wow, pet peeve, when people behind me merge before me, I go first. Okay. <laughs> so this is the color of it. It's a very cool toned, like the um, color is called Camellia, first of all. Also, I mean, second of all, I love the packaging. It's just like really pleasing to the eye, but it's a cream blush. It has like a little magnetic closure. I can never open these things. And my nails are so weak that I also feel like I'm gonna break it every time. I don't know if that happens to you. I usually have dip on my nails. So. Okay, well, for us people, us little peasants who have gel nail polish, <laughs> um, I always feel like I'm gonna break them, so that's a really good perk to the packaging. 
And then I went to the counter and she said, you can get 25% off if you open a card. I was like, does that get applied now or do they send it to you in the mail once you've gotten approved? And she lied to me and said that it, <laughs> and said that it gets discounted now. And so I filled it out and she's like, they actually need more information from you. So I can't apply it today, but they'll call you within the next seven to 10 days. And then you can like give them the rest of your info and then they'll give you the discount. I'm like, you're an actual liar. Um, but she gave me these, these little Lemaire samples. She's like, but the samples, girl, those are yours. And I was like, yes, they are. Cause I just had to, you know, waste my time filling this stuff out when you lied to me. So that's everything that I got. And then Vanessa ended up getting dun, 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 the best shoes ever. We just grabbed these on our way out. She did the high top black Converse. I absolutely Influenced love by these. Jenna Evangelia. Okay. That's great to hear. Um, but she tried them on. Tell them how comfy you think they are. I was very shocked because I wore low top regular everyone sole. always had low top first i feel well, like platform well, was never platform. A, yeah that was never a thing and like the low tops were just yeah the low tops walking on a piece of cardboard so but they uncomfortable served me so well i wore them until there were holes in the, the navy ones um no those i have in like middle school and then i got black ones for college i wore them to every single frat party appropriate and um i had black ones too I would throw them in the washing machine, which you can do. They'll look brand new when they come out. Um, and so I haven't had a pair since. And I have black vans that are like platforms. So I figure, you know, I don't, I don't need the Converse because I have the vans. And they yeah, but they're the not high tops, right? They're such a different shoe. So Jonas bought me the, the whole Devil Wears Prada. Those belts look the same, they're but they're so, really not the same. They're so different on the shoes. <laughs> And they are, they're very affordable. They're $75 mm -hmm. and in New Jersey, no sales tax on shoes. So I it feel was like, like a win, win, win. Out of them yeah. And they're very comfortable. It felt like they put arch support or something in them. They don't I, feel like yeah. skate shoes. I mean, I like, went you know, on a business trip to Italy and I was wearing those. Like I walked in Milan by myself 40 minutes from like up north down because I was going to see a museum that they ended up not letting me in. Um, and... Uh, my feet were completely fine. Like, they weren't even sore at the end of the day. And I did probably an insane amount of steps. Um, but anyway, the other thing she picked up, Laura Mercier blush. Because, did you know about these before you went to the counter? Or you just went and looked? Um, I think I'd seen somebody put it on. But I wasn't all that interested. I really was going to, if anything, get the Rare Beauty mm -hmm. cream blush that everybody has. Yeah, I almost got that one too. But... If they but, have the rose ink, so I was like, I need to get that because I just saw it. I felt like the shade that I wanted in the Rare Beauty one, just, it blends out nicely, but it almost blended out too much to where it wasn't, yeah, like, doing anything. Yeah, because like, a little bit darker. So I got a very similar shade in the Laura Mercier one. And this is the hyaluronic acid that you said? Yeah. So this is hyaluronic acid in it, and the shade is really, really nice. I feel like this is very, like, this is our Smashbox blush that I've talked about but in a cream form. The only thing I didn't really love about this was the applicator. You mean is NARS? It just, is it NARS? The blush? That we have yes, it's here. NARS. I lied. Okay, it's NARS. Um, but it looks very similar to this shade. I just didn't love the application because you kind of just like squirt it out and I thought that was weird. But you got a lot of product for it. So that one's 28 and yeah. the Rare Beauty one is 20. And then and the one that I got was 30. Which I did, I forgot that the Rare Beauty one was 20. I feel like for a brand in Sephora, that's not crazy expensive because I feel like all their products are upwards of $25. Um, but I mean, blush lasts me like years and years, so I don't feel bad about it. And we wear it every day. Every day. So that's everything we picked up from the mall. We are running to go pick up pizza right now. It's going to take 25 minutes, but there isn't really a lot of traffic. And both of us need to put chapstick on because we're so chapped. Just talking about it. And drink water and to fix the chapsness from within. Yeah, because first sign that you are dehydrated is that your lips are chapped because your skin is the last organ of your body to absorb the water. I learned that at some point and thought I should share it with everybody. I don't even think I knew that. Mm -hmm. I think a dermatologist told me that once. Mm -hmm. 
or a facialist, I don't remember. Um, anyway, I digress. We are going to pick up some pizza. We're having a little pizza night and then we are going to our friend's house to have a wine night a little bit later than that. And I think that's capping off the night. I'll also update these curls are from the shark air wrap. And um, it's not an air wrap, I can't say that. It's the shark flex style. And I just have to say that don't spend your money on the Dyson. Just, just don't because the lady in Sephora, the cashier, she told me my hair looks really healthy and I neglected to tell her that I just got a haircut and cut two inches off. But I told so it was her- like It was like a little bit deceiving. Yeah, but, but I told her it was the flex style and don't buy the Dyson. And I whispered it though because Sephora sells the Dyson. Um, but it uses a little bit more heat, definitely, but not to the point where it's like, oh, I'm using a curling iron because it's just not the same. You're not clamping your hair down. You're not like burning it off. So I think it's a perfect, I sort think of you have to go a smidge faster in the fast lane. Uh -oh. Well, there's a little bit of traffic. There. I know. There's like seven car lengths. Well, it's like the perfect thing between like a curling iron and a Dyson that just this falls by the time I'm done doing it when I was doing it with the Dyson. So, yeah. Okay. So out of 10, what are we rating it right now? The flex style. I mean, honestly, I have, there's a little bit of, you know, you have, there's a learning curve with the, using it. So mm -hmm. I need to get back into the swing of it. I think by the time I do, it'll be like, a 9.5 pretty high okay we are having flyaways all over the place i am back in new york city and everything is a mess here i'm trying to pick up my room and get everything ready because i'm actually going back home tomorrow and i have to work in the new jersey office a little bit this week so Lots to do. It's like 11 o'clock and I'm going to meet Steph Avery and Gabby to go and shoot at 12. So I'm planning my outfits and everything, but um, I'm gonna put that in a whole like separate Saturday vlog. So I'm going to end this vlog off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this little weekend at home. And I know there was a lot of like chatting and stuff, but you guys got to see Vanessa and I feel like that's always funny. Um, just because we look the same. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you're subscribed. I have a Zara and H&M haul coming very soon to my channel and I don't want you guys to miss it. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed and I will see you all in my next video.